So let's take a look at this first question. It says, in the diagram, PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, guys, the moment you see cyclic quadrilateral, you should know that there are things that come with it, like the interior opposite angles add up to 180 degrees. They are supplementary, okay? Second thing you should remember is that the exterior angle of a cyclic quad is equal to the interior opposite angle. Okay, very important. These should automatically ring bells for you. Also, not pertinent to this question, but in some other questions, if you get a cyclic quad and you get something that looks like this in your quad, remember that the angles subtended in the same segment are going to be equal to each other. Just remember that. That's your cyclic quad theory. So let's take a look. It says ST is a tangent to the circle. Very important, guys. Tangent also. Whole bunch of other theorems that apply to tangents, okay? Perpendicular to a diameter or the radius. And also, it will be the tan chord theorem. Remember, very important, the tangent subtends the same angle next to the chord as the chord subtends on the circumference, okay? So lastly, it says chord SR is produced to V. That just means that this is all a straight line, SRV. And they give that sides PQ is equal to QR, which is indicated on our diagram. S1 is 42 degrees and S2 is 108 degrees. Okay, so guys, before you even get to your questions, read your love letter. So this here is the tangent, okay, which means that this angle of 42 degrees is equal to the angle subtended on the circumference. 42 degrees, and that is tan chord theorem. Okay, very important. Also, with our cyclic quad, because this S2 is 108 degrees, it means that this over here is 108 degrees, or 180 degrees, minus 108, because they're supplementary, which means that this angle here is 72 degrees. Okay, also, we are given that we have equal sides, which means what? We have equal angles opposite those sides. And lastly, with our cyclic quad, this exterior angle here, okay, V3, is equal to the interior opposite angle, this whole angle over here, okay? So now let's move on to our questions. It says, determine with reasons, very important guys, you lose marks if you don't give reasons the size of the following angle. So, angle Q. So, let's take a look here. Well, if you've done what I did, you've already found out that angle Q2 is equal to 72 degrees. You can even say angle Q is equal to 180 degrees minus 108 degrees. Why interior angles of a cyclic quad? because those angles are supplementary. So that means that angle Q is 72 degrees. Okay, easy peasy. Next one says R2. So let's take a look. R2 is this one that we've highlighted in green. Okay, so if you get an isos triangle like the one we have here, and you've got this angle, it's actually 72 degrees, okay? We found that this angle is 72. If these angles are equal, it means that twice of this angle is equal to 180 degrees minus this angle. So, let's fill this in. R2 is equal to P1, first of all. Why? Because angles opposite equal sides. You could also say isosceles triangle. Both are fine. Okay? And then you can say... Therefore, 2 times R2 plus Q is 180 degrees. Why? Because of sum of angles in a triangle. Okay, if we look over here, we've got interior angles of a triangle, all adding up to 180 degrees. And we've just found Q at 72 degrees. So therefore, 2 R2 is equal to 180 degrees minus 72, which is equal to 108 degrees, but that is twice R2, so therefore R2 
is equal to 108 divided by 2, which is 54 degrees. Okay, easy peasy. Then it says find angle P2. So let's have a look here. Well, angle P2, how did we know that this was 42 degrees? Because of the tan chord theorem. Okay, so P2 is equal to angle S1 because of tan chord theorem. And therefore, P2 is equal to 42 degrees because S1 was given to us. And lastly, we need to find angle R3. So let's take a look. Okay, well, guys, if you have read your love letter at the beginning and you've identified that this is the exterior angle of a cyclic quad, remember what an exterior angle is. If I have a cyclic quad and I extend the one side, it means that this angle on the exterior of the cyclic quad is equal to the interior opposite angle. So same instance here, R3 is equal to P1 plus P2. So let's take a look. R3 is equal to P1 plus P2, exterior angle of a cyclic quad. Okay. And we found P2 in our previous question. We found that it is 42 degrees. So we know that it is something plus 42 degrees. But now remember, let's put in P1 for now. Right at the beginning, we said over here that P1 is equal to R1. Why? Because of angles opposite equal sides. So R1 is equal to P1. And R1 we found, let's take a look over here. Okay, not R1, P1 is equal to R2, okay? And R2 we found is 54, so 54 degrees. You've already proven that these angles are equal because of your isos triangle, okay? Which means that R3 is equal to 96 degrees. Okay, so guys, when you get a Euclidean geometry rider like this, like I said, read your love letter at the beginning. The examiners write out that beautiful little paragraph for you to give you all of the theory that you need. If it says cyclic quadrilateral, bring out all of your theorems, identify tangents, identify chords, see what they are subtending and see whether or not they're in a cyclic quad. Fill in your angle relationships. It will help you so much when you have to answer your questions.